Um, the question there says you should find what there? The isomers of what there? See what? Find the isomers of C4H8. This specify many isomers? Find three. All right, so listen. Listen. Here's another thing you most likely see in the exam. Um, the concept of isomerism. We said for isomerism that it occurs when I have a particular molecular formula having what there? Different structure. That's the idea. So what they're saying is this. Provide three different compounds, perhaps with three different structure that has this same uh, molecular formula. So how do I do that? First is first, identify what's involved here. When you have C4H8, this stuff you have, there's an, an alkene, alkene, or alkyne. Obviously alkene, because I know for alkene, my molecular formula is CNH2N. So hence, if N is 4, that becomes 2 times 4, that's it. That means this stuff here is quite all right as an alkene. So my first task will now be create an alkene of what there? 4 carbon. That's your first task. So it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4. It's at your own discretion to put the double bond anywhere. Don't forget, if I put double bond here, it becomes 1 in. If I put double bond here, it becomes 2 in. What I'm using 1 in o or 2 in o is left for you. For me, I am trying to use 1 in. That means I'm trying to place my double bond here. So try to complete the structure. This one has 1, 2. I have 3 and 4. This one has 1, 2, 3. I have 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, and then 4. I have this. So your task here is simple. Try to name this compound. Obviously, I'm going to be numbering this way because I want the smallest number attached to my double bond. So I'm having 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 carbon compound is what? There? A boot. So it becomes boot. Boot 1 there. Boot 1 was there. In. So I'm having boot 1 in. Or 1 boot in. First tax done. My second tax. In our last class, we said our kings are isomers of what? Do you remember? They are isomers of what? There? Cycloalkane. I stressed it. That means for every alkene, its isomer has to be a cycloalkene. So I'm going to form a cyclo compound. Since I'm having four carbon compounds, or, or four carbon atoms per se, I'll form a cyclo compound that has four carbon atoms. So that has to be one, two, three, four. I have this. Try to balance this up. I'm having this as one, two, three, and four. One, two, three and four one two three and four finally one two three and four if i count this one two three four that's c4 one two three four five six seven eight c four h eight that matches so if i name this compound because what that cyclobutene we are asked to name three we've worked with the two we know an alkene and its isomeric cycloalkene so what's the third one there the third concept would be this. As much as you can, see, listen please, here's the logic. As much as I can, I used four carbons here. I used four here. We know about these two. Your next task would be, what if I use a three carbon compound and take the fourth carbon compound as, an, uh, as a substituent? That's the idea. So instead of using four now, use three. So one, two, three. I have this. Place the fourth carbon compound as a substituent and see if it balances out. So I'll now place the next one here, here to make it four. Of course, my longest continuous carbon chain has to be one, two, three. Or perhaps one, two, three. In other words, I have a substituent. Try to balance one up here. I'm having one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So if I count, I have one, two, three, four, four carbon, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There, okay, it doesn't work, so that's not it. Uh, let's try to see if you can use a double bond instead. 
So what if I so look at this? This is the work now. What if I I just use a, a double bond instead? That means let me form a double bond like this. So look at this now. It becomes uh, one, two, three. Let me add a double bond here. So I have this. So this now becomes one, two, three. This one is balanced. One, two, three, four. This is uh, no, this is wrong. So take off this one here. So it becomes one, two, three, four. Uh, that's quite complete. I'm having one, two, three, one, two, three. One is left. So here, C, one, two, three. All right. So if I now count, I have one, two, three, four, C, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's correct. So see the way I worked with this. I tried C, single bond. It was more than required. I now use double bond and the subsequent, it worked. So how do you know this compound? What do you call this? One methyl or two methyl. So if you say one methyl, how are you, how are you counting? Don't assume. Follow the process. What is the process? Number one, longest continuous carbon chain. That has to be from here. Because if I count from here, I'll get the double bond faster. So I'm having one, two, and three. I have this. So if that's true, this one becomes what there? A two methyl. So I'm having two, excuse me, two methyl, what there? One, two, three. That's poop. Poop what there? One in. So this becomes the isomers of this one here. So see why I did the isomer concept, right? I know it was an alkene. For alkene, I know the isomer is a cycloalkene. For the third one, I just played with it. I tried to use the one of the carbon as a substituent. It didn't work. And then I now improvised and it worked. And now it worked. Um, yeah, so that's how we get this man done.